Hey, it's Brian, back with another Burr Months episode for those of us getting an early start on the Christmas season. This is our first episode of October, and just this week I saw several articles floating around the internet asking whether it's too early for Christmas. This happens every year, and usually right about now. So, I say that question kind of answers itself. If it's been consistently true for years that Christmas items are on the store shelves starting in late September or early October, if the cable channels and streaming services are generating buzz with their holiday movie lineup announcements and countdowns right about now, if we're hearing about who's releasing Christmas albums and what the season's hot toys and decorating trends will likely be, then no, it's not too early for Christmas. But I'm obviously preaching to the converted. If you're listening to this episode around the time of its release, you're among the quickly growing group of people who are feeling the Christmas spirit before you even decide what Halloween candy to hand out. Maybe you've already gone all in, or maybe you're easing your way in with a few well-chosen decorations. Well, one of the easiest ways to low-key get into the spirit is to listen to Christmas music. And that's what this episode is all about. Sure, I'll always put on my old vinyl records that I've had since childhood to trigger nostalgic vibes. I'll play any number of Christmas Spotify playlists to hear the familiar hits. But sometimes, in fact, oftentimes, I want to hear something totally new. Today, I've got a festive five-pack of Christmas songs from independent artists that I think you'll love. Be sure to check the show notes from this episode for links to more information about each artist. Well, October may or may not be too early for Christmas, but it's certainly too early for snow in most places. So I'm happy to reassure you that you're not likely to get snowed in anytime soon. Unless, of course, you check out this song from Chrissy Blazier. Oh, 
Chrissy appeared on one of our previous music episodes. Check the back catalog from 2019 to hear her song, Santa's Slay in It. It has that same smooth, jazzy, bluesy sound that reminds you of the Christmas classics. Well, I guess the definition of a Christmas classic is somewhat subjective. I grew up in the 1980s, so a lot of songs from that era are classics to me. As a music fan generally, I've been really enjoying a lot of the 80s-inspired music that's been coming out over the last handful of years. And if some of that music is Christmas music, well, that's even better. Like this one here, it's Christmas Dreams from Dotcom Da Vinci. I was introduced to Dotcom Da Vinci's music by a member of the Christmas Past family. Thank you, Madeline. Hey, what's better than an 80s-ish Christmas song? Two of them. And I think you'll agree that some of the best Christmas songs are about heartache. Like this one. It's Crying All December by Montgomery. i 
Montgomery is from Australia. We met on Instagram. I'm sure that Christmas in Australia is wonderful, but I have to say I've never come across any Christmas legends that originate from Australia. I'm not saying there aren't any, just that I haven't heard of them. If you know of any, get in touch. But one place that has some great ones is Iceland, where I visited a few days after Christmas a couple of years back. And Iceland is home to the Yule Lads. You'll see them everywhere, from the Reykjavik airport to just about every shop. They're a story all their own, and they'll probably be the topic of a whole episode one of these days. But for now, how about a song from a band called the Yule Lads? Here's Wouldn't Be Christmas Without You. You're the moon big and bright hanging in the wind tonight like a stone You're the lights blue and white outside shining on the snow You're the frost on the window I look out through You're the morning I look out to No, it wouldn't be Christmas without you You're the box, you're the paper You're the tag, you're the ribbon You're the bow You're the smell of scotch tape You're it's a wonderful life Playing low You're the last few working hours I daydream through You're the songs I hum along to No, it wouldn't be Christmas without you Oh, the bells may ring on a midnight clear Christening the silent night But it won't mean a thing if you're not here Listening by my side and bright hanging in the winter night like a stone You're the lights blue and white outside shining on the snow You're the frost on the window I look out through You're the morning I look out to And it wouldn't be Christmas without you Thanks to Larry from the Yule Lads for reaching out to share this one. And now it's time to close out this playlist. What better way than with an old-fashioned Christmas carol with a modern, edgy twist? 
Here's Grays from Philadelphia with their rendition of O Holy Night. Thanks to all the wonderful independent artists for sharing their music with the Christmas Past family. Again, make sure to check out the show notes for links to more information on each one. Hey, before I let you go, I have a really big favor to ask you. If you've been meaning to get around to leaving a review for Christmas Past on Apple Podcasts, now would be the perfect time to do it, right as people are starting to think about Christmas. Those reviews help the show more than you might know. They make the shows show up higher in the search rankings when people search for terms like Christmas and holidays in their favorite podcast app, even if that app isn't Apple Podcasts. Seeing all those reviews make people more likely to check out the show once they do discover it. And of course, those reviews let me know what you think about the show, the things you like best, the things you want to see more of, so that I can continue to deliver you the best Christmas podcast I can season after season. And when you leave a review, I'll send you a Christmas Past sticker and a handwritten Christmas card as my way of saying thanks. Reach out for details on that. You can get in touch at christmaspastpodcast at gmail.com or reach out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. 
And on Facebook, you can join our private Christmas past group if you haven't yet to join the family and celebrate all season long. Oh, and one more thing. It's never too early to send a Christmas memory to appear in an episode this season. Just record something into your phone's voice memo app and then send it to christmaspastpodcast at gmail.com. Just keep it reasonably short, clean and family friendly, and be sure to say your name and where you're from. I'll be back again in just a couple of days with another episode. Until then, let me remind you that Christmas Past is produced in wonderful Willow Glen, California by yours truly, Brian Earl. Thanks again to all of our independent musicians in this episode, and thank you for listening. Until we meet again, may your days be merry and bright. <laughs>